One in nine um, women who report rape, uh, there's, a, there's a conviction of the rapist. We often landed up speaking about it as a war, that if men were being abused as consistently, that a lot more would be done. There's no written script. It's, um, it was completely workshopped. It came out of the process that the Spirals Trust began with the One in Nine campaign to speak about Christine and Holler's rape and murder. We engaged in discussions around issues of gender, around issues of sexual violence, um, and all of everything related to that, which we then culminated into a piece. It's been an amazing way for me to channel my rage um, in a creative way that's not destructive to myself. I feel that uh, really these are the issues that are eating me inside as a man and the things I see done to women. Exploring our own real experiences and our own responses to how we're dealing with being men and women um, in South Africa right now. And the honesty has just been amazing. Uh, that, that's been my experience um, and the healing that I take away from this. There were quite a few parts in the play that were left to the performers. Um, that's why they brought in issues like what's happening at the festival around sexual harassment. And, um, and they were free to do that. My friends yesterday, she was walking down High Street and um, there's this guy with a camcorder and they're making all these lecherous, lecherous remarks and everything. And um, they stick the camera in her face so they're like, trying to take footage of all the hot chicks in Grahamstown during the festival. And she's just like, what are you doing? It wasn't about uh, skilled performers, although some in the group are. Um, but not necessarily actors. Some are dancers, there's a hip-hop artist, etc. Um, so it was really people who'd been interested from the beginning to talk about these kinds of issues, came to the broader dialogue process, so were in tune with the kinds of issues that we were talking about and wanted themselves to take it forward. Few of us are fortunate enough to inhabit a true sense of being a man. The one who's not a rapist, either a sexist, not even oppressive with the sisters. Question is, it's your name on the list. Question is, it's your, your name, name on the list. list. Man, listen. Man, listen. These are the words from IX, the activist. The war against women gotta stop. Gotta, gotta stop. stop. Every day the numbers increase. My brothers, please, can't we let the nation be in peace? It was important to put out a product and for the performers to see that it was possible to do that based on their own material and their own experiences. I was 13. It was at school. Three guys, older than me. It started off with simple things. Pulling my hair, pushing me around. And then one day, they came up to me in a corridor. One grabbed my breast, the other my vagina. I tried to struggle, but they just pushed me away. <laughs> and walked off laughing. That's what you get. Yeah, ne? This happened almost every week for two years. A teacher saw. She did nothing. My friends saw. They did nothing. Now as an adult, I still wonder sometimes why I stopped struggling. Why I didn't tell anybody. Why I just did nothing. I was just really interested because it was started by men. It was men that wanted to um, initiate the conversations. And um, it was the first time that I had felt 
that men were so keen to be involved. Most of the time it's women that discuss these kind of things. We also try to present quite a balanced gender perspective that women raise boys who become rapists, um, whose responsibility is it anyway? On, uh, you know, in the one part X is a woman, the other part he's the rapist. It's very hard to lay blame. Sending somebody to prison for 25 years, is that really an answer? Are we really healing our society? Why did we create that kind of man in the first place? And there are many issues that contribute to that. Uh, men are not born rapists. The time. the time has come for men and women with conscience to break the deafening silence. For the nation to find its modern fire and braid its hair inside out. Now is the time for men of reason to take a stand and prevent an abusive hand.